Alright, so in the previous video, we have learned how to get real-time updates from Firestore database. Today, we're going to learn how we can update our existing data. So, we want to update our post from the post page. So, this is the post page. And also, I have this add post form component, which we had used to create a new post. We can use the same component to update our post. So, I'm going to uncomment this. And inside the form, I expect some props like the post details, title, content, tags. So I'm going to spread out this post object. So post. And now we want to create a server action to update the document. So let's go to the firebase.js file where we have added all the server actions. So I'm going to add a new function const update post again get the form data and we also want a post id so it will be our first argument i will show you how to pass multiple arguments to server actions now let's create the document reference so let's call the doc function and then db and the path will be post and the post id now we need to call the update doc function. So update doc. Here first we need to pass the document reference. And then the object with the data that we want to update. So I can add the title. So form data get title, then content, and then the tags. And that should be it. So let's export this function. And inside the form component, let's import update post. Now the action prop will be based on another prop. So I can expect another prop is for update. If it is true, then I want to execute the update post function. But in order to pass the post ID to this server function, I need to use the bind method. For the first argument, I can pass null, which is the this argument. And then I can pass the post ID, which I can also get from the prop ID. Otherwise, I can pass the add post server action. And we need to pass the is for update prop to this component. So is for update. Uh, is for update is not defined, so let's add that here. Okay, so we don't have any error. Now let's try to update the data. I'm gonna remove my name from my title, and the content will be some gibberish. Let's try to submit. So let's go to the console and here you can see the post is updated. I have removed my name and also the content is changed. So basically in the update doc function, you can pass only the specific properties that you need. For example, I can just comment out this content field and I can type my name here in the content field and then submit, go back to the console. You don't see the content changed, but if I change the title a bit and submit, on the console, you see the title is also changed. So you don't need to pass every single field to this update doc function if you don't want to update. So I can uncomment this again. Now you have few options to update an array. For example, I can just comment this piece and I want to add a new tag. For that, I need to use another function which is called array union. And I can pass a new tag like this. If I just submit and on the console, you see we have this new tag. I can remove an array using array remove. I can remove the same tag. If I now hit submit, go back to the console, 
now we don't see the new tag. You can also update nested objects in dot notations like this or you can also increment a numeric value by some amount for example here you can increment the number by 50 using this increment function but I'm not gonna go over them now let me show you a problem that we are facing currently now you might have noticed when I changed the post I didn't see any update in the page that's a problem we want to see the update if I refresh the page I now see the update but on production you might not see the update because we are using a server component and server component will be cached but we want to update the page so here you have uh, two options you can either use a client component and use the on snapshot function to get all the data then you will see real time updates like I have shown you in the previous video or if you still want to use server component then you have another option which is to revalidate the entire page I think that's a much better option for this kind of use case because you're not updating the data all the time sometimes you are just updating the data and refreshing the page I mean revalidating the page is good enough so I'm gonna show that to you to revalidate the page we need to use the revalidate function sorry revalidate path function revalidate path and the path will be slash post slash the post ID like we have here so that should do the work so now let's try to update the page the content I will add some gibberish let's submit and now you see the page is updated so that's how you can update a document in Firebase Firestore using several components and then also revalidating the page so I hope this video was helpful for you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I will show you how you can delete a document. So until then, stay safe. Goodbye.